So let's get started by downloading Unity Hub. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to unity3d.com. And there's a lot of information on the, the home page here that it'll teach you a bit about what Unity can do. So for now, though, all we care about is this Get Unity button right here. I'm going to click on that, and that link's going to take me to the store page, store.unity.com. So we're going to click on Try Personal. And I'm going to go ahead and check that I confirm all this stuff here, of course. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to download the hub. Now, like I said, you can download the installer for the editor directly, but I don't want to do that. I want the hub. So I'm going to download Unity Hub. And I'm going to run this installer. And when you do, you're going to see a simple agreement to the terms of service. We know how to do that. Just going to agree to that. And if you want to read it, go ahead. And then we're going to select where we want to install it. Uh, in my case, I just keep it right inside the program files there. And now this shouldn't take too long to install simply because you're only installing the hub itself. You're not installing Unity itself at this point. So once this finishes, though, we're going to jump in there and we're going to actually start installing the editor. And what we're going to do here is once hub is open, we're going to go to an installation tab. We're going to go down to official releases and we're going to find the latest version that's available. To me, it's 2018.2.2. 10F1. We're going to download that and then let it install. Now, whenever we click download, it's going to open up this window here that's going to allow us to select some components. There's a lot of stuff here, but the important thing to remember, you can always come back later and install what you do not have if you need it. In my case, I don't need Android Build or iOS Build or Linux or all that stuff down here. There's going to be a lot of options. But in my case, I just want the documentation and the latest version. And then we're going to click Done. And when we do that, it's going to start installing that version of Unity with those settings. And again, you can always come back and add the components you need. And that's going to be all we have to do to install Unity on our systems.